Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to discuss the example for parametric differentiation. Given we have the situation x, so here x is equal to bracket 1 plus with the t squared to the power of negative 1 over 2. Next, we have the y is equal to bracket 1 plus with the t squared to the power of 1 over 2 and then we have over t. Continue, differentiate the x with respect to t. So the dx dt is equal to negative 1 over 2 bracket 1 plus with the t squared to the power of negative 3 over 2. Differentiate the internal function and we have 2t. Rewrite the situation. We have the dx dt is equal to negative t over 1 plus with the t squared bracket. We have power 3 over 2. Next, focus on the y. Let's say here we have the u and this one we have the v. Make use of the quotient rule. We have the dy dt is equal to where we have the formula for the quotient rule v u prime minus u v prime over v squared. So for this part, we have t bracket differentiate the u. So we will have 1 over 2 bracket 1 plus with the t squared negative 1 over 2. Then, differentiate the internal function, we have the 2t. Minus, we have the u, where we have 1 plus with the t squared, power of 1 over 2. Differentiate the t, and we will have 1. Over, we have the v squared, where we have t squared. So, rewrite the dy dt. So, the dy dt is equal to, where we have the situation, t squared over the square root of 1 plus with the t squared. Minus, we have the square root 1 plus with the t squared over the t squared. Can I equate the denominator? So we have the t squared minus, if you multiply by the situation, 1 plus with the t squared over 1 plus with the t squared. So we will have the situation in here, which is 1 plus with the t squared over 1 plus with the t squared, then t squared. So the dy dt, so if we simplify, we will have negative 1 over the t squared multiplied with the square root of 1 plus with the t squared. So that is the dy dt. Next, can you substitute into the situation where we have the dy dx is equal to dy dt multiplied with the dt dx. So equals, we have negative 1 over t squared, square root, 1 plus with the t squared. Multiply with the dt, dx. So meaning step, we have to flip this part. So we have negative t, and then at the top there, we have 1 plus with the t squared to the power of 3 over 2. So kindly simplify the situation. So in here, we have the positive, and then we have the situation Square root of 1 plus with the t squared multiply with square root of 1 plus with the t squared bracket squared over we have the t cube multiply with 1 plus with the t squared. So based on this part, we have the dy dx is equal to, if we simplify, we have 1 plus with the t squared over t cube. Kali refers to the question A. Notice that we already shown the situation. The dy dx can also be expressed in the form of 1 over t q plus with 1 over t. Or dy dx can be expressed as t to the power negative 3 plus t to the power negative 1. Kali refers to b. We are going to find the second derivative. So the formula for the second derivative would be differentiate the dy dx with respect to t. Multiply with the dt dx. So in here, differentiate the situation here we have t to the power negative 3 plus t to the power negative 1 and then multiply with the dt dx where we have 1 plus with the t squared bracket 3 to the power of 2 over the negative t. So can you differentiate? So here we have negative 3 t to the power negative 4 
minus t to the power negative 2. Multiply with, we have the negative bracket, 1 plus with the t squared to the power of 3 over 2 over the t. Can we rewrite the situation? So in here we have negative 3 over t to the power 4 minus 1 over t to the power of 2. Multiply with the negative bracket 1 plus with the t squared to the power of 3 over 2 over the t. So here we have the second derivative. So question asks us to find the second derivative when the t is equal to 1. So my suggestion is to no need to simplify and we can straightforward substitute the value of t. So in here we have negative 3 minus the 1. Multiply with, if we substitute the 1, so we will have 1 plus with the 1, which is equal to negative bracket 2 to the power of 3 over 2. Then over the 1. So in here, we notice that we have negative 4. Multiply with, we have the negative, and then bracket, we have 2 to the power of 3, and then we have the square root. So for this case, the second derivative is equals to 4 multiplied with the square root of 2 for 3 times. Then we have 4 multiplied with the 2 multiplied with the square root of 2. So the second derivative is equals to 8 multiplied with the square root of 2. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to this channel and share this video to your friend. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.